January 19th, 2022. Do, 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 do. Let's play some songs I wrote, performed by my brother Sean. Lights green felt to hanging from the wall. We stocked up on all the alcohol. Gonna get streaming, streaming for folks. I'll play games before I tell a bunch of jokes. The green screen dress to celebrate St. Pat. The green screen dress, the chroma keys like that. The green dress, oh, let's lift a brew. Toast the green screen dress, cheers to neon hue. Neon hue. Chroma keys like that, the green dress. Oh, let's lift a brew. Just a green screen dress, just a neon hue. sort of chest I want a girl with shears that cut and swords that burn through zombie flesh I want a girl who knows world generation who crafts furrows and times her attack she's modding her community she's flying through the air she's melting out impurities and feeding her cat I want a girl with a lectern and a full cauldron. I want a girl who logs in early. I want a girl who plays till late. I want a girl with unobstructed creativity who uses a tripwire to ruin your day. With shulker boxes organized and lustrous in a tone that will torch you like desert grass who crafts fur and times her attack. She's smelting out impurities and feeding her cat. I want a girl with a lectern and a full, full
whose shield is emblazoned. I want a girl with good enchantments. On some server, we will meet incidentally. We'll start to talk as we shoot skeletons. She wants a spawn with my own convenience. She wants a spawn that's in good repair. She's changing her in from wither to dragon. She's trading her archery for a trident that's self-repairing. I want a girl with a lectern and a foe. Cauldron. But your days keep growing longer There's no wind in your sails But the storm's blowing stronger Walking hard Standing tall Keeping your head up through it all Fighting fires Spinning plates Goodness how it get so late Lay your head down Joe Hills is filmed before a live streaming audience. That's us! Howdy, y'all. Joe Hills here recording as I always do in Nashville, Tennessee. And tonight, y'all are my live streaming audience. Hello to everybody watching on Twitch, on YouTube, and on Discord on Twitch. I see a lot of familiar names. Welcome, Flannel Punk, B. Marin Tech, uh, Kindleless MC, Rotation, Grace Wonder, JQuest, YT, Yazzie Wolf, Yo Yo. Welcome, Devin Crotty's The Fairy Dingo. Welcome, Ahime Angel. Welcome, one and all, on YouTube. Over in. Oh, wait, no, that was Twitch. Welcome to everybody on YouTube as well. Gusty Gale, Triforce, Isaac Foster, Short Person, It's Marik. Welcome, Brian Kwiatkowski. Welcome to everybody on Discord. Kindle is Snow, Grace Wonder, uh, Jory. Welcome, Alex. Welcome, everyone. Glad you could join us today here on not the Hermitcraft server for a change. Um, I mean, it's not really that much of a change at this point. Y'all are probably used to it. I'm still not. I've been streaming from the Hercraft server so long, anything else is way different and completely alien to me, but that's fine. Uh, over here, what can we buy with gold? Uh, a sewer? Yeah, I don't think we want to do that. Okay. Meanwhile, we can't do anything with that mechanized infantry. Hopefully that ironclad won't go ahead and attack me. Uh, let's see what else we got going on. This guy has a grievance because something. Can we build a residence uh, embassy? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. There's a fire somewhere. Oh, it's because America declared war on the Dutch, one of our allies. Oh, okay. Oh, man, there's like 25 declarations of war this turn. We don't have time to click 25 times, or do we? We could call the save file Hermitcraft. Well, the thing is, Grace Wonder, I am playing as part of the Hermetic Order, which I wouldn't have chosen if I knew that one of the other orders was literally vampires. We chose the order that was hermits and not the order that was vampires. So that's on me. I'm willing to admit that now. Okay. So, meanwhile, down here, let's see what we got. Uh, Sydney Opera House. Yes, please. Let's get that built. ASAPs. Boom. Anything that we can build on water, we want to build on water. Anything we can build on land... Probably deserves to be here. Okay, so this Eiffel Tower. All tiles in your civilization gain plus two appeal. That's a pretty good buff. Um, and it prevents anybody else from getting it. Now, you might say, Joe, but what about that factory? Wouldn't you rather build that factory there? Oh, man, your productivity is going to 
die now that you, uh, you know, destroyed that other thing. Well, we can just buy a factory. We have the money. <gasps> Boom. What was that we just bought? It was a whole factory. What if I wanted to, like, also build, like, a hangar? That would give us additional production as well. We could do that, too. Boom. What if I wanted to buy two biplanes? Well, we can't actually afford that because we spent all our money. But don't worry, we'll have 982 in just one turn. Isaac says, personally, I'm glad you're expanding your uh, show, Joe. Looking forward to pinball tomorrow. I am so hype about pinball tomorrow. While we do the next turn thing. Whoops, that's the Clio. There we go. Iron Pinball Battle. Mystery Pinball Theater 3000 versus Joe Hills. That's going to be tomorrow night at my normal streaming time, 9 o'clock Central, 8 o'clock Mountain, twitch.tv slash the pinball network. I will not be streaming on my own channel. We are going to be streaming on the pinball network channel. Myself and Manu Smith of Mystery Pinball Theater 3000 playing pinball actual physical machines in our homes against each other. Uh-oh. And there's also a hurricane? Uh-oh. Thanks, Atomic Era. You brought a hurricane. I don't love it. At all. Okay, did we manage to get a Golden Era? Let's see. We learned Rapid Deployment. Never mind the maneuvers. Just go straight at them. So that lets us uh, travel between airports, but we don't really have more than one airport, so, you know, that's a thing. Uh, change policies. Wow, none of these are, like, quote-unquote, better. Um, maybe let's go ahead and do this Space Race one, because we should be getting there soon. MC Wilson says, touch my camera through the fence, Joe. I don't know exactly what that means, but I'm glad you're enjoying the show, MC Wilson. Yo-Yo says, the more I watch, the more I want to buy Civ, and I can't afford it right now. I get that. That's fair. Tokobot, Joe playing Civ looks like a snarky deity looking upon his peoples. I do what I can. But yeah, the pinball stream tomorrow is going to be super hype. I am so thrilled about that. I spent like 45 minutes trying to make the pose that Manu sent. So basically, um, Don't Panic Flip is running the event, and he sent me this picture of Manu, and he's like, hey, could you send me a picture of you like this for this um, flyer I'm making? And I was just like, I can do a pose exactly like this. And then I spent like 40 minutes on it, and the pictures weren't coming out right, and Badger Spanner's like, Roy, let me get my DSLR so you can stop embarrassing yourself by doing a poor job. And then I was like, you don't sound like that at all, Badger Spanner. But I appreciate you getting your DSLR to fix the, my poor photography skills. So that's how that happened. Okay. Awesome, Flannel Punk. Enjoy your green eyebrows. That sounds fun. Uh, so this guy we're going to have uh, maybe pause for a moment. Okay. This guy we're going to have raid the clan. That'll close the out. Or no, we want to disperse the clan. Promotion available. Awesome. We'll get that next turn. Did we get a golden age? We did. Awesome. Heartbeat of Steam gives you production toward Industrial Era and later Wonders Campus District Science Adjacency Bonus provides additional production. You know, I think we'll, we maybe want that one. Cities with Governors receive 50% tourism from World Wonders. Uh, more. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. Spies take no time to establish themselves. Time to complete all offensive missions reduced by 25%. Ooh, these are all good except to arms because we're not going to go to war. But I think I'm going to go with Heartbeat of Steam. Confirm. If we open the civics tree here, we're playing with randomized civics and science research. So we got to go ahead and do this one next, I guess. That is going to give us the ski resort, the aquatic center. Bonus amenities to do, 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 do. Plus two tourism for each wonder built in the city or adjacent to a coastal. Ooh, fancy. Additional amenities when powered. Hey, I'll take it. That gives us stadiums as well. Boom. Let's choose production down here. So in our capital, I think that because we got this Nobel Prize race going on, we want to go ahead and do a theater square festival to make sure that we stay ahead of everybody else. Ooh, build nuclear device. That's new. But... I think we do the Theater Square Festival. Um, let's see up here. In Wonders, we can build none of those. In Units, we can't build a Traitor, a Spy, convert to Coal Power, recommission Nuclear Reactor. Our reactor is currently five years old, so or five turns old, so we don't want to do that just now. I think we're going to run uh, Campus Research Grants. 
and we'll have this spy which we have just produced. What if he travels to Cairo? Could he steal a tech boost maybe? Let's try. We have new barbarians on our borders. Oh no, not on our borders. We have barbarians all up in here. Somebody, an enemy spy has created a barbarian uprising inside of our own borders. And let me tell you, we cannot have that. That is simply unacceptable. So we are going to just come in here and take care of those guys. Hyper aggressively. Okay. We also had a volcano blow up. So we're going to keep repairing from the volcano. Because, you know, that takes time. That's a, a whole thing we have to do. Okay, so we have a storm down here we don't care about. We have another violent storm over here that we maybe care about. Our secret society advanced, so when we get our next promotion, we can get the Alwas, which allows us to unlock occult research, a city project that provides gold while active. You'll love to see it. Okay, so enemy recruited partisans, that's the one we're dealing with already. And what did he burn here? That was our neighborhood, so we can't do that this turn. We have new city-state quests. Religious conversion, train a jet bomber, train a jet fighter, recruit a great scientist, Eureka Fanano, technology inspiration for social media, construct a harbor, religious conversion, send trade route, train rocket artillery, send trade route, Eureka for composites, construct a commercial hub, Eureka for composites, construct a great artist, train a missile cruiser, send a trade route, Eureka for robotics, religious conversion, trigger an inspiration for optimization imperative, Send a trade route, send a trade route. A lot of trade route requests. Okay. We can't do all of those right now. But some of them, some of them we can do. Like when they were like, hey, train of this, train of that. You know what? We've got in our airstrip uh, part here, we could train a, well, we can train a biplane. That's really not as impressive as training the other ones they wanted. Uh, one of them was train an anti-air gun. Maybe uh, we could do that in our capital. That might be nice to have. Missile cruiser. Rocket artillery. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of these are kind of expensive. Probably. Do we have rocket artillery? No. That's fine. Next turn. I had a stream earlier today. Yep. Hey, Pastec. Hermitcraft starts again soon. And how soon, you might ask? Well, it's in quotes. So you know it's real soon. Also, I forgot to mention that tips are welcome via paypal.me slash Joe Hills and YouTube Super Chat. And we are currently six away from the next face camera expansion. And currently we're at 70% opacity. So that means we're six dollars away from the most obnoxious face camera, the Tony Stark helmet cam. So I hope you all are excited for that because it's happening whether you like it or not. Oh, this guy's glad we got rid of those barbarians. You're welcome. That guy likes our scientific research. Okay. <laughs> Wait, which unit was captured by a barbarian? Meanwhile, research completed. Telecommunication. The single biggest problem in communications is the illusion it has taken place. So wait, let's go to the unit captured. Which unit was captured? Oh, they got a builder. Okay, well we can go deal with that real quick. Builder back! Yay! Okay. We can send the builder over there just in case that needs to be repaired. Okay. Improvement pillaged. New barbarian outpost up here. 
Oh boy, do we have the right kind of ships to go deal with that at the moment? Battleship, yeah, that's kind of a ship. A kind of ship. A kind of a ship. Um... Ooh, we can upgrade this submarine to a nuclear submarine. Yeah, let's do that just for kicks. Uh, meanwhile, our spy needs something to do. Why don't you go ahead and gain sources? Okay, over here, we need to repair the neighborhood before we do anything else. Um, this guy is going to paradrop over to here. This builder is going to come over here and get... Oops, that was the wrong guy. This guy is going to repair this farm, which will be now extra fertile because of the volcano blowing up. The Spec Ops guy is going to go on alert. This anti-air gun can just park here for now, I guess, just as a treat. And go to sleep. Okay, so this is Spec Ops guy, we want to have continue this way, seeing all the things that we haven't seen on the map yet, just so we know where stuff is. Hey, Tarsus! I, that was in a book once. Uh, this guy's going to come here and build a logging improvement. And he's out of stuff to do. Okay, so these guys... Oh boy. They've only got one citizen right now. That's not ideal. Ugh. Let's get this mechanized infantry back into the area here. Okay. Units return. Rainforest regrown, civic boost, social media. We got two city-state quests, envoys, things for that. Okay, next turn. Have I watched any of the old Thunderbird series on YouTube? Uh, no, I haven't, although I did see Team America World Police. And then I also watched... Uh, today I started re-watching The Leftovers, which is kind of the opposite of Team America World Police. If 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 you were ever like, Joe, what show would you say is the least like Team America World Police? I would probably say The Leftovers. <laughs> so I've been watching the opposite of that. Because, I mean, it is like straight up just the opposite. There's a whole scene in the first episode where they say the Pledge of Allegiance at the school and everybody just sits there like, what are we even doing? Okay. So let's go ahead and try and steal this tech boost here. Um, this Spec Ops guy can continue to explore up here. And over... Nope, he can't go that way. Okay. So, nuclear submarine, that sounds nice, but we don't actually have any nukes. Should we build nukes? Maintenance is 14 gold per turn. We have a lot of gold per turn. But we could spend that energy building cavalry. Um, how are we on that Nobel Prize in Literature thing? I mean, we are pretty clearly in the lead, but they're chasing us. We need to keep doing the Theater Square Festival. Kind of the same thing over here. Like, we need to be doing campus research grants and Theater Square Festivals, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, now, this place, though, has some options. We can build an aquarium here, and we can also repair that shopping mall. I think repairing that shopping mall has to be our top priority. Okay, this Spec Ops guy, how far can we paratroop him? As far as there? Okay, I'm getting that ship over here. There's that anti-tank weapon, okay. This guy can get a promotion. Um, okay. 
Now that this city has two people in it, we have a slight advantage. But really, we're hurting here. We've got a campus under construction. But we are how many turns? 27 turns until complete. We need to finish a trade route. We need to finish a trade route and then send them back there. Which of these... Tra oh, there's no way to tell which trade routes are going to end soonest. Is a nuke going off treated as a natural disaster? <laughs> no, it's treated as somebody putting a nuke off. You're really not supposed to do that. Um, will this guy consider giving us open borders now? Okay, he's in a better mood. How about some whales for open borders? You like that? Okay. Because we have plenty of whales. Okay. So now we can come over here. Really see what's going on. Although, wait. Anshan is following... Genghis Khan. Let's, try, let's make a deal with him for open borders. Oh, we already have him. He's just not... Uh. Hey, what would you give me for whales? Okay. Okay, so this builder doesn't really have a lot to do here. But I can have him go up here and build a power grid uh, solar array thing. This guy can have either build a farm or a mine. I'm um, thinking maybe more of a farm than a mine, but plus three production, plus one culture, plus one faith, plus two food. And this provides housing if we build the farm. And production if we build the mine. Okay, well, we're actually still producing stuff over here. Like a spaceport, so yeah, let's build the mine. Okay. Next turn. Hey, Konami, enjoy your Minecraft. Bum, 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 bum. Uh oh. Enemy spy killed. Oh, they shouldn't have tried to steal our money. Our promise to Babylon to stop spying them has been fulfilled. Sources gained, storm petered out. Okay, so we can go spy on Babylon again, too. Good news, everybody. You just have to wait 30 turns after you make a promise. And we're there. Oh, wait, who's attacking our ship? That was pretty dumb. Though. What even kind of ship is that? That's a samurai or a barbarian ironclad. Haywood Browd wrote on professional sports, sports do not build character. They reveal it. Well, let's just build the stadium. The Estadio do Maracana. Maracana? No, Maracana. Plus two amenities in each city in your civilization. Ooh, that's actually really good. Plus six culture, plus two amenities. That's stupidly good. You have to already have a stadium, though. And you have to build an aquatic center, and you can get a ski resort. Ski resort gives you tourism and an amenity. Nice. So, what do we got? Let's uh, go ahead and have this uh, infantry guy stay on alert here. We'll have this builder kind of look around, look around at how lucky we are to be alive right now. Maybe we can build some solar panels there. Okay, so this guy can easily have a pretty significant victory against this ironclad. I have this guy move here for right now. Um, in terms of other ships in the area that can back us up, we apparently don't have any. This nuclear submarine could get there in three turns. Okay, so in the civics tree, we can do distributed sovereignty or venture politics. Huh. Inherent effect, plus two amenities in all cities, plus two culture per specialty district. You lose combat strength. This one gives you negative science, but more commercial and encampment. 
bonuses. Gain 9 influence points per turn. At 250 points gain, 4 envoys. Hmm. That's where diplomatic favor per turn. I mean, I think this digital democracy is closer to what we want than the other one. Let's go ahead and look into it. Okay, so we can now build the aquarium and the aquatic center. That seems like a no-brainer. Get us some extra amenities here. Uh, let's see, we just completed the spaceport. So the obvious things to do now are to launch the Earth satellite. Okay, let's have this guy go on alert. Hmm. That guy can't do very much from here, can he? So we're in a weird place with this where I can't actually benefit from building fisheries on the uh, harvest, but I can benefit from our housing. So we're going to do that. Okay, this guy here. He can build housing or via a farm. How are we on housing here? Although on the whole, we have plenty of housing. How are we on electricity on the whole? 12 usable. Okay. So if we have this guy build a solar panel, that helps us in one way. I mean, I think we do the solar panel. Uh oh, we're no longer suzerains of Venice. Who took over Venice from us? Ooh, I'll take a Philosopher's Stone. That sounds fancy. I want to live forever! Okay. So Saladin is now the suzerain of Venice. Which is not ideal. Because that's right next to us and we don't want to attack us. So I think we need to get that suzerainity back. Next time we get three envoys at 200 influence points in one turn, we need to go dump a bunch of them into Venice. Just because it's right there. Okay. Venice is who taught us to build that arsenal we like so much. Okay. So that ironclad has fled down here. And I think we should probably not allow it to go attack our capital. Where's the submarine? Uh, let's get that up here. Do we take out the ironclad entirely or just has barely any health? The ghost fish. That sounds scary. Okay, so we get some envoys to send. We're sending them to Venice. Boom. We are now suzerain of Venice again. We get to claim a great person, this great musician right here. How are we on great works? We're pretty much all full up. We'll find a place for him later. Um, in our capital here, we can now build an aquatic center to get additional amenities. And so we should. Up here, we should probably also build an aquatic center because we have a pretty good lead on this great person points. Um, this guy, we're going to have sit tight for right now. Sleep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Jill Jackson, woo! Are you for real? Welcome to the stream, Jill Jackson. I am excited to click next turn. I. Okay. Let's see, this builder down here, what can he build? A solar panel. Well, that would be handy because how are we on power down here? 12 usable, but I think we don't want to burn out our uh, call it? fancy electrical um, nuclear reactor thing. If we go down to refurbish nuclear reactor, we're at reactor age 12. Yeah. 
so yeah, after we launch that Earth satellite, that's probably gonna be what we end up doing next. Behold! Either decommissioning it or recommissioning it. Oh wow, that's a lot of stuff. But what? Uh, I mean, honestly, we have so much more oil and niter and stuff that we need. Strictly speaking, we'll take it. Thank you, Christina. What new? Says, hey, Joe, what do you think about Twitch streamers getting banned for watching TV shows on stream? Huge fan. I don't really know anything about that. Because um, I watch TV shows when I'm not streaming. Like, I think that's one of those, like, Twitch affiliates, Twitch partner problems. The nice thing about not being a Twitch affiliate or a Twitch partner is when there's a bunch of stupid arguments about stuff like that, I just go live my life. I get to go read a book. And just have a nice day. It's fantastic. I recommend it. <laughs> Meanwhile, in robotics, robotics has been around forever and it's been the next big thing since forever. And it's so exciting and compelling, it's easy to get carried away. Colin Angle. Pasture improvements for C plus one food. You'd think like, oh, that's what the real get is there. It's the giant death robot. Information era super unit. Able to move and fight in water. Resistant to weapons of mass destruction. Yep. Yep. We're going to go ahead and just to make sure that nobody messes with us. We're going to go ahead and maybe commission a few of those. Because we're currently generating three uranium per turn. And a giant death robot costs one uranium per turn to maintain. Right? So, like, you know, we'll go up here, maybe we'll buy one up there, we'll go down there, maybe buy one down there. You know, it's just gonna, just have a nice little giant death robot party. You might be like, Joe, are you gonna upgrade this knight to a tank? I mean, yeah, I can. But, I mean, the real money, the real money is in giant death robots. Which, oh my gosh, that's $5,000. I'm gonna w have to wait a whole turn for that. Although, I could also purchase a shopping mall and a market and a bank and a stock exchange. Actually, you know what, maybe let's just go ahead and buy some of those things. Whoops. Stock exchange. Yeah. And we can get a food market or a shopping mall to get an additional amenity. So now we have, like, $500. But you know what, in five turns we'll get a giant death robot, so that's nice. Um, okay. So, ooh, ooh, ooh. Offshore... Wind farms are crucial for what we're doing. We're absolutely going for that next. Okay, um, so this guy can sabotage production, foment unrest, neutralize a governor, or do a listening post. Ugh. Mm, let's try just sabotaging production, just as a treat, maybe? Although we'd be better at fomenting unrest. Lower chance of failure. That'll help him level up. I mean, I believe in the kid, but... Maybe let's, uh... Ooh! We have discovered Eek Keel! Son, have you seen the reign of God? It passed and entered beneath the mountains of God. There will be a ring in the sky where the water of God has passed. Boom. The books of Chillum belong. So we got some experience for discovering that, as well as some era bonuses. That's always nice. New natural wonder discovered. Okay. So, let's see what we got. We got a violent storm here. We have barbarians approaching over here. Oh boy, this nuke would let us attack with a WMD if we wanted. We probably shouldn't be firing nukes at barbarians. But, also, I don't really want to fire nukes at other civilizations. And so firing nukes at barbarians does actually sound pretty amusing. Just want to say. Um... Okay, so let's range to attack on these anti-tank crew. How's that doing for them? They did not take a lot of damage. I guess that defensive position is helping them significantly. We can upgrade this field cannon to a machine gun, maybe. And then send it over here as well. Just as a treat. Uh, let's see how we... Okay, so we got a few turns to complete a few things. Offshore oil drilling platform. 
Does the giant death robot have a name? It looks very cute and it deserves one. You can give it a name once you buy it. Fighting robot Mega Man. Turtle power. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, I'll have this guy shoot at this guy again. Have this guy head over here. Let's have the spec ops guy maybe come up to here. Choosing the production. Aquatic Center. They're the world's most nuclear submarine. Okay, let's see. So there's a lot of stuff I haven't seen over here. But we don't seem to be... Oh, yeah, yeah. We, we didn't get an opportunity to... This guy won't even consider open borders with us. So, I mean, at that point, we really can't do too much. We can just go uncover some parts of the map here. Then, like, I guess head up that way, really. Hmm. Natalie Casey. Okay, no. I am a very different person. So, Stephen King's son is was born Joseph Hillstrom King and I was born Joseph Benedict Hills okay and I was already making things on the internet when Stephen King's son started publishing stuff under the name Joe Hill and I was just like no way man I was here first you've got to be Joe King and he refused to go by Joe King and uh, so that's just where we're at on this that's where we are that is not me. Now, in fairness, one of the other people that I randomly met in my internet adventures at the time was going by the name Joe Hilbert. And we got to be incredible friends. And so just because somebody's ruining my brand doesn't necessarily make them a bad person. Okay. They say the best way to visit Te Hokianga Nui Akupi is on a summer day as the sun sets and the light on the water park come alight, watching the crowd on the boardwalk. Okay. Well, we won that Nobel Prize in literature, so rock bands are cheaper to purchase and album sales go up. You know, you love to see it. So with this battleship, we'll go ahead and get an extra ranged attack in here. Uh, let's get a bonus here. This guy, additional movement on hilly terrain. And let's see, where's that submarine? Wanna come over here and, uh, I don't know, maybe uh, attack these guys? You know, when submarines start firing missiles at you, you kind of know you screwed up. See, that's how they knew they screwed up. Okay, we got a spy over here who is about to steal a tech boost, but let's gain some sources first, maybe. Yeah, just as a treat. Okay, choose production. So in our capital, we finished everything in that water park. We can't build a spy. We can't build a trader. We can build a giant death robot, though. Ooh. Ah. This is going to take us 12 turns to build, whereas we could buy one with cash way sooner, because in cash, they're only like five grand. So maybe we should build a nuclear device. I mean, 14 gold per turn maintenance isn't going to kill us at this point. Ooh, Weird Al is awesome on stage. I saw him shortly before the pandemic hit. Uh, like, well, shortly, a few months. Honestly, all times <laughs> mess right now. Um, but yeah, Weird Al is fantastic to see in person. If you have the chance, I strongly recommend you do it. So good for you, Brian Kwiatkowski. Okay, so we completed the Aquatic Center here. 
Um, let's look at our, our great people real quick. Um, oh, we want that great scientist for sure. Oh, and we can buy them outright with faith right now. Plus 100% production towards space race products. Or we could just get them in a few turns. Hmm. 29, 26 per turn. Oh, we are going to have to buy them to win. But maybe if we just keep... Let's try continuously just doing the um, campus research plans over here. Okay, we got the spy. They gained the sources. Let's do a steel tech boost 90%. You'll love to see it. Next problem. Who needs more housing? Kavia. It must be our... Oh, yeah, that little new city here. Boy, yeah, they're suffering. They need... They need housing. They got 12 out of 13 housing already. Uh, if only we could build more fishing boats. Boy, um... If I go there, that's not going to get me that one, is it? No. I go there, that doesn't get me that one. Ouch. Yeah, the problem with this place is in order to get the fishing boats we want, we probably are going to have to just go buy all the tiles and then let it expand. We can get the housing boost even if we don't get the other boosts from it. Okay, so... This guy, I don't know, come up here in case we have to shoot somebody. Uh, yeah, you can have an embassy. Sounds good, Genghis Khan. We're pals now. First water park fully developed. Trading post in a new civilization. Ooh, ooh, new trading posts means that we can go ahead and start uh, moving some of our people over. Okay, let's begin voting. Chosen player gains two victory points. And then we dump all the votes into me. Oh boy, I don't know. I'll say democracy for right now. And yeah, let's do a world's fair too. Why not? Okay, democracy gets a wild card policy slot. Coupe does gain two diplomacy victory points, and the World's Fair did pass. So, that puts us back in the game on the diplomacy victory with 17 victory points out of 20. We are getting close. Let's go ahead and save the game here manually, real quick. Like professionals. Warm fire has been put out. Storm rages on down here. Uh-oh. Hey, let's get our ship directly out of the path of that storm and maybe, I don't know, heal it. Just as a treat. Let me just heal. Got another storm down here. I don't love it. Um, so we have a new trader route we can move. We're going to have this trader... Transfer to our newest city of Atariapa. <coughs> okay. So let's go ahead and also disperse this outpost for 10 experience. Welcome, Neon Jolt. Uh oh. Okay, so one of our agents seems to have gotten caught. I'm going to try and have them escape. Nope, they were killed. Uh, steel tech boost failed. 
fill policy slot. So we have a new policy slot here. And let's go ahead and say plus two great scientist points. And confirm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's have this guy go heal up because he took some damage earlier. Okay, so now we have to stop spying on Saladin for a while. While the we have to go back to spying on Hammurabi. Hmm. But also, we totally have, still have a spy there, so if we get caught, that's like a whole thing. Um, okay, so yeah, you heal, and how are we on? You're very close to getting distributed sovereignty. Then we'll lose our wild card slot, but we'll get an extra one. So I mean, it'll kind of work out. So just as a, a quick update for anybody who is looking forward to the golf versus Music Man tomorrow morning, that has been pushed to next week because he had some trouble. Uh, he was on his way home and got delayed, so he won't be able to get set up in time. So we're going to push that to next week. I'll let you all know when the new update is. So the Music Man mini golf stream for tomorrow is not going to happen tomorrow, but the pinball is still on tomorrow night. I'm very excited about that. <gasps> we lost Suzerain status with Taruga. Yeah, we found the Fountain of Youth. Shyavana, desirous of obtaining beauty, quickly entered into the water. The twin Oswins also, O oh, King, sank into that sheet of water, and the next moment they all came out in surpassingly beautiful forms. And young. Launch Earth Satellite. Woo! That's my beach. We have successfully created a space race project there. And we've completed the Eiffel Tower. I ought to be jealous of the tower. She is more famous than I am. Gustav Eiffel. Not, not Osmond. Thank you, Joel Jackson, for saying that right when I was going to say Eiffel. That didn't throw me off at all. Okay. So. Beep, 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 beep. Plus four error score for getting that satellite launched. And we have research predictive systems. If the enemy know not where he will be attacked, he must prepare in every quarter. And so, be everywhere weak. Distributed sovereignty. Multitudes. Multitudes in the valley of decision. For the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. Government unlocked. So if we want to, we can go ahead. So our previous government of democracy has eight things but if we go to digital democracy we upgrade to 10 things that sounds kind of nice plus two amenities in all cities plus two culture per specialty district yeah i kind of love it um The bold people of the Maori have developed a new political system of digital democracy, inaugurating a new system of governance. So we need to kind of figure out what we had over here that we want to bring back. Okay, so we had some culture and science things in the gold that we're going to want again. Um, so let's keep our spy operation bonus here. Um, Uh, extra culture, gold, international free boost, extra science from buildings and campuses, anything with science we want, uh, commercial hub and Harvard district adjacency bonuses. Okay. So meanwhile, over here, spies who steal a tech boost, get an extra tech boost. And we want, um, Open borders with city states and plus four um, influence points per turn. Yeah, that seems good. Okay, confirm policies. Yeah. Your progress toward no near future governance has advanced considerably. Thanks, computer. Okay, so meanwhile, in Taruga, we got some problems. We are going to have to fix that. Some people have declared war. Don't love that. A storm petered out over here. That's good. A storm rages on up here. That's not really on our doorstep yet. 
we have gotten a bunch of arrow points. We need more housing in our capital. Ugh, we can't really fix that housing problem easily. Um, I mean, we can buy a builder and have him go make more um, fisheries for right now. That's about it. Ooh, okay. I think we want the launch Mars colony thing ready. Um, okay, environmentalism gives you plus 25% tourism across your empire. Yeah, let's do that. That sounds nice. Okay. Recommission nuclear reactor. We have reactor age 14, so that resets it to zero. I mean, at a certain point, we need to do that in the next few turns anyway. This unit needs orders. Let's have him go on alert. This unit needs orders. Let's have him go on alert. Alert. Okay. So, Adatara Paw has six food and 14 production. So, if we come in here and we're like, show me the production routes. Two production? Ouch. If we say, what are the food routes? Three and two. Oof. Wow. We do not have the distance that we really want to have for this. Oh. I mean, I feel like we got to go with this three and two, but it, it hurts a little bit. Hmm. Okay, well that'll cut our science thing here from 20 turns to 17 turns, which isn't crazy. How many people do we have here? What are we working? We're working two ley lines. Yeah, okay, so if we had chosen to work this oil, we'd have way more production. But we're also working the food we have. We're not chasing that, are we? Hmm. Oh boy, this is just a rough place to live. Okay. Down here, we just completed the aquatic center. Let's go ahead and produce a new spy because we had one get killed. Down here, what say you? Launch moon landing. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Also, um, let's go ahead and get this great scientist here that we're almost to, but not quite. That'll give us plus 100% production for space race projects. Okay. Bunch of city states have a religious conversion quest. Um, the best way to deal with that is probably going to be to get some more apostles and missionaries and start sending them out places. That'll also ensure that nobody else wins a religious victory while we're sleeping. Welcome, Mother of Corgis. Glad you could join us. Assassin says, I think you need to lose population instead of fixing the housing issues. 32 population is way more than you need to work the tiles in those cities. At the same time, I kind of think it's funny to have a ludicrous population. <laughs> and so I kind of want to see where we can go with it. Okay, so we completed the Eiffel Tower over here. Flood barrier might make sense. How close are we to um, the next uh, kind of phase of global warming? Uh, 
not very close. Hey, Woody T4, glad you're here. Okay, um... So... This is a very interesting city because it's got very high production. Um... Okay, so the campus in some ways is a good choice because we have that campus boost that gives us a ley line boost and we have some sort of campus uranium boost. So let's maybe go for that. And that's only going to take four turns to complete. Yeah, yes, please. Okay, so this guy, now that we've scouted the entire map, I feel like we bring him home, right? Just come on back. Jeremy Shell, glad you could join us. 46 Bonnie, glad you could join us as well. Drew Baca, you're not wrong, but also I'm doing this for the lols. <sighs> Just as a reminder, we are $6 away from the next face camera expansion. Tips are welcome via paypal.me slash showhills and YouTube super chat. Okay. we The next expansion will be the Tony Stark helmet cam because we are currently... At 70% Joe Pasty. Uh oh, category four hurricane right off the coast of my spaceport. I don't love it. Ooh, we can recruit a great um, engineer. Okay, we're gonna have him. Is this a great engineer or a great scientist? So the great scientist we're gonna send to our spaceport city. Spaceport city, boom ba doom, spaceport. Okay, actually wait. You're gonna move out of the way. <laughs> wait. Wow, we have some huge problems here. Okay. Great scientist. Transfer here. Missionary. You. Whoops. Clicked the wrong thing. You are going to come down here. Okay. We completed the spaceport up here, and so now we can build the theater, square, a few other things. Yeah, let's go ahead and get that theater square there. Yeah. Okay, Jane Drew can't move there this turn, so you're going to go to sleep this turn. We're going to send you to the capital. Is this guy really caught in a... Um. Oh. Okay, so we have a missionary here. You're gonna head that way. I have an apostle here. You're gonna head that way. Okay, what unit was available for promotion? Oh, the apostle. Whoops. Oh, this person wants to declare war on me. That's gonna be a problem for them. When we build a giant death robot, different great scientists have different benefits. Wow, a lot of people are denouncing me. So it's time to build the giant death robots. We have three uranium per turn, and boy, we have a lot of extra uranium. So yeah, let's take this guy's open borders deal. Yeah, when you start winning, they all start panicking at you. Okay, so this apostle has a upgrade that we haven't used yet. If we cancel it, we can. Okay, gains theory extra spread. Can spread religion. Yeah. Okay. This apostle also has a upgrade we haven't done yet. Um. Okay.
Record setting river flooding. Okay, you don't love that. Choose escape route. Okay, so one of our spies needs to escape as well. And they were killed. Our spies are not the best at what they do. I think it's safe to say. You wouldn't dare denounce somebody who has death robots. Oh, Christina's mad we used uh, spies, so we'll stop. Okay, we'll send the great scientist over here to help with the space program. Okay. So we get to send this great scientist over here and then send them back to our capital so they can help with the population issue. Okay, so we need remind me next time we have a production opportunity to make spies and death robots. Spies and death robots are where it is going to be at. They're where it's going, really, when you think about it. Is Sharknado a valid disaster? I mean, it's valid, but I like to think of it as a disaster opportunity, not a disaster. Spies and Death Robots sounds like the name of a band, says Second Fifth. <laughs> or a silly action movie. Okay, which unit needs orders? This guy. Uh... Ooh, we can build offshore wind farms? How are we on power, actually? Eight of eight. Ugh. Well, we're about to fix our housing problems. So, yeah, let's do maybe the wind farm. And then we're going to go there and do another one. Can we make death robot armies by grouping up multiple units? I think we can combine multiple units, but I don't think death robots can be combined. Can we use the death robots as very obvious large spies? They are giant. They are like the size of cities. Like they'd have to be scaled down if they fought King Kong. <clears throat> Sydney Opera House. An opera begins long before the curtain goes up and ends long after it has come down. It starts in my imagination. It becomes my life. And it stays part of my life. Long. Long. After I've left the opera house. Okay. We have uh, completed research on nanotechnology. If technology is the engine of change, then nanotechnology is the fuel for humanity's future. And we've completed environmentalism. I shall return again to the light of the sun to prepare a home for thy descendants. And that gives us plus 25% tourism. Woo! Okay. So storm petered out. Good. New violent storm over there. Oh, come on. It's on top of my ship. It's literally on top of my submarine. Why is my submarine taking damage from a storm? It should have been underwater. Okay. So this apostle here is going to travel up there and spread some religion. Okay, this guy I can keep going this way. They got a lot of cultists over there. I got, I'm just looking at that. That's a lot of cultists. Okay, so we can go into Babylon again since our uh, thing timed out on that. Let's go maybe to... Um, one of their less populous cities in hopes that they won't notice us as much. They're less likely to have counter-spying set up here. Ooh, we can't steal a tech boost there. Oh, we can't steal any tech boost from Babylon. Wow. That was like our go-to place for, for tech boost stealing. Um, okay, wait. So where is this guy now? Ugh. I mean, we were attacked here before. 
So, yeah, maybe we protect our um, industrial zone or harbor. I don't know. Just in case. Okay, this person will give us plus three amenities and plus four housing for the city. And considering the housing is at 32 or 33 people, yeah, we're doing that. Okay, which other cities are really tight on housing? 18 out of 19 in Kalapoi. So we're going to have her go to Kalapoi next. Yeah, we get good yields on the ley lines. Every time we uh, recruit a great person, it affects that. Hey, we just got a tip via PayPal from Drew Baca, who says, Jarvis, give me intel on Hammurabi. Boom. That is indeed going to put us at the next face camera expansion size, the Tony Stark helmet cam. So here we go. It's time to expand. Joe, do, 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 do. Jarvis, give me intel on Hammurabi. And we are indeed going to lower the Joe Passy now to 70%. No, 60%. Boom. And that puts us 20 even away from our next face camera expansion. Tips are welcome via paypal.me slash Joe Hills and YouTube Super Chat. Okay. So choose research. Um, we could get lasers by building two drones. Should we just buy two drones with money? How much is it? How much is a drone? Let's just buy two drones with money. Boom. Your knowledge of lasers has advanced considerably. Boom. We're going to do that one. Okay, let's have this battleship just stay on alert here. Going to have this apostle come down here to spread a little bit of joy and peace and love. And two fish. Both fish right now. Um, okay, so we can research social media, and that'll get us a governor tile or title, which will let us go ahead and get that next um, advancement here. What happened with this? I really thought I just sent that guy down here. Okay, up here, we just recommissioned the nuclear reactor. So that's back to zero on that. Um, but we probably want to go ahead and... Ooh, we could build another nuclear device. We could do science, harbor shipping, theater square festival. How does the World's Fair work? Um, generating great people points per turn. I mean, if generating great people points per turn is how we do that, then we're going to want to, you know, do that now. So... What should we do? What great people points do we want to make? Um, I mean, great engineer points are always fun. But so are great scientists. Ooh, we've already recruited all the great scientists that exist in the whole world. So I think we want great engineer points. Um, okay, down here we're going to create another spy. Oh, we were going to create spies and giant death robots. Hey, welcome, Incredible Mike. I try what I can. I do what I can. I'm a giant death Joe-bot. Ha ha. Um, so we completed the Sydney Opera House, and it's probably a good time to create an aquatic center to get some additional amenities. Uh, next turn. Okay. Let's go ahead and create another offshore wind farm here and do a manual save. Glad you could join us in Credit Mike. How are you doing today? Oh boy. So don't forget, people, if you missed out on Cleo and I streaming Arts and Crafts this morning, we moved our Wednesday Arts and Crafts stream to Friday because Cleo had a headache this morning. So I hope you will join us Wednesday morning at the same time, same channel. I could say same bat place, same bat channel, but that's broadly derivative, and I like to be narrowly derivative. Woo! We have actually stolen a tech boost, finally. We got advanced power cells from the city of Halab. This agent is ready for promotion. 
Woo! You love to see it. Okay. So, uh... Knowledge of advanced composites has boosted considerably, too. Great, great, great. Let's choose production. So back in the capital here. Remember those giant death robots we were saying we needed to build? It's time. Giant death robot. Bow, bow, bow. Catching up on paperwork. Awesome. Okay, so we're going to go ahead. Oh, in Kawa, we can build a library this turn. Okay, we're going to send Jane here to Kayapoi because they are having some pretty serious housing issues. Where should we send this drone? Do we just send it to go fly over stuff? Is that how that works? I actually don't even know. Have I caught up on science? Yeah, I'm, I'm catching up on science real good. I've got 611 science per turn, which some people might say is a bit excessive, but I say is a bit hilarious. Okay, wait, why can't I build another offshore wind farm? I mean, I guess I could build a housing thing here, but I'd rather build an offshore wind farm. Oh, you know where you know where they might want offshore wind farms also are literally everywhere else. Why don't we go build some more offshore wind farms? Great question. Builder. And where else could we use an offshore wind farm? Maybe over here. We'll get a builder. And over here in Kayapoi, why don't we go ahead and recruit? Oh, we're out of... We've got... Oh, we've got a builder in this one. And Jane Drew is waiting to orders. Let's go ahead and send this drone out here to go keep an eye on things. Okay, so we can counter spy or we can travel to a new city. Um, I think we haven't gotten in trouble for spying in America yet. We're the spies in America. Whoa, we're the spies in America. Whoa. La -da 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 okay, this person has a promotion available. Um, if this spy is in home territory, enemy spies in your lands operate at one level below usual. I mean, uh, we should probably send this person home. They've got a good chance of escape, and they're good at stealing things. So maybe we'll just do a recruit person if two more. Plus two error score for getting a mega spy. Awesome. Hildebrand de la Croix says, Drones are good to attach to artillery and rocket artillery. It gives the unit it's with and any units around it five sight plus one to their range. Oh. Yeah, I'm still learning some of the fighting stuff because I haven't really used a lot of the fighting stuff. Okay, so we met Vilnius... We constructed an entertainment complex that they liked. We gained sources in Cairo. We completed quests for several city states and earned envoys. We successfully sold a tech boost. Which unit needs orders? This guy. Okay. We want you to steal a tech boost over here. Yeah, Cairo. We want Spec Ops guy to, I don't know, keep going home. Like Dr. Sam Beckett. Missionary. Spread religion. Yay! Submarine. Upgrade to a nuclear submarine. Yay! Apostle. Spread religion. Yay! Hey, we got a city state thing for spreading the religion. Yay! What if we got 700 science points per turn? I've won a religion, but I've never won a domination victory, Liara. So far in Civ 6, I've won a religion, a tourism, and a science victory. I'm trying to go for a diplomatic victory this time, but I don't know if I'm going to get it. I might honestly get the science victory first kind of by accident, and I don't think that I should fight that. Because we're about to do a moon landing, and that's going to give us a huge culture boost. So then that's going to help our tourism. So... We're probably going to win a tourism or science victory before we get a diplomatic victory. Assassin says, try domination the next game you play. 
Maybe. I don't know. I'm a little wary. I don't know if I would have fun. Liara says, I've won tourism on accident twice while trying to do science. Yep, that's a thing. Definitely a thing, Liara. Okay, is the game hanging or... Okay. So... We can build some offshore wind power here. That's going to be super handy for us long term. Whoops. No, no, no. You come back. You come back. Okay, so we have wasted all of the great engineer's movement points this turn. Yeah, I got the Statue of, Vic of Liberty. Yes, definitely. Okay, so this builder here has three more of those. Let's go ahead and do a production boast. Actually, wait, wait, wait. No. You come down here. Is that a workable tile? Hold on. Wait, which tiles are workable? Real quick, which tiles are workable? No, okay, no, not those two. Boo. Okay, so just build this where it is. Okay, you spread some religion. It's going to give us a little bit of a boost here. World climate. Climate change is about to start happening. So we're about to see sea level rising. 17 turns. So we need to make sure that everybody's got flood walls that's going to need them. Can't build any wonders here. Um, now we do have this World's Fair where we get great person points and that affects things. So we probably want to go ahead and keep chasing industrial zone logistics for the time being. Down here though, the Alchemical Society is going to be huge for us. Ooh, flood barrier. Flood barrier first. Okay. So... Steel tech boost, that seems like a sure thing, even though it's a 90% thing. Uh, spread religion. Nuclear submarine keep healing. Apostle. Come over here. Okay, builder. Um, we could build a ski resort, but I was kind of thinking maybe we'd just actually build a, a, a sure wind farm just as a treat. And you know what's also handy is is maybe another offshore wind farm. Um, can you build those on a reef? That looks like a reef tile. Maybe not. Maybe we're going to learn we can't. <clears throat> okay. So, let's spread religion down here. Okay. Um, so let's just have this guy on alert for right now. I don't know. Builder, hey, hey, hey. Do you want to build a wind farm? It doesn't have to be a wind farm. Okay, bye. We are one turn away from accomplishing a moon landing. Space Race Project, which launches a large rocket to land a human on the moon. Grants a one-time culture bonus equal to ten times your science per turn. It marks a second step toward the science victory. So you know how we got our science per turn really high right there? Boom. Whoops, didn't mean to hit the mic. Boom. That's one small step for a man. One giant leap for all mankind, all thanks to the Maori for error score. And we unlocked la 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 lasers. I'm a big laser believer. I really think they're the wave of the future. We can build jet fighters now and missile cruisers. Yeah, we unlocked social media. Which of all my important nothings shall I tell you first?
Jane Austen. So we can get additional tourism, plus five culture per city state you're suzerain of. Governors provide plus one loyalty to their city per promotion the governor has. Okay, I don't think any of the stuff we have here we really need to swap out. I'm honestly pretty happy with all of this. Um, so I think we want advanced flight because we had a bunch of things that wanted us to build those. Ooh, geothermal plant plus two gold to cams, helicopter. The biosphere wonder would be pretty nice to have, actually, if we could. And let's do that one. Yeah, so since my so basically I got a, a one shot boost of like six thousand culture. Yeah, that's pretty good, right? Okay, so we need to build a new flood barrier around um, this city because we're about to have some serious problems with this. Okay, so over here in our new city of Ruritoria. those we can launch a Mars colony in nine turns see that seems like a good thing to do in nine turns but you know what hold on hold on let's go back okay so we're nine turns away from launching a Mars colony but you know what what if we bought some stuff with like I don't know money like that is it still nine turns away yeah it is that's okay we can also build uh, an art museum Okay, then we can also, um, uh, those are still putting us nine turns away. We could be a builder. Send him over here and build a wind farm. Let's use that new governor title, though, to unlock occult research, a city project that provides gold while active. When completed, it grants great people points and science for every ley line in the city. Confirm. Achievement unlocked. Voice of Awas. Hey, so we unlocked an achievement without even winning the game. That's cool. Okay. So. In terms of our era, we are one point away from a golden age, and we have quite a few turns left. Okay. So, this city, how are they doing on... What tiles are they working? Working the ley lines. They're working a few things. Rock in the suburbs, just like John Bon Jovi did. I'm working the suburbs, except that he was talented. Okay, so let's have this uh, missionary come over here to our city. We've got this builder here. Let's go ahead and have him build a additional offshore wind farm. Unit needs orders. This guy. You know what? This guy would probably like to build is, uh, I don't know, maybe an, another, another uh, offshore wind farm. Just as a treat. This guy can fix our housing problems. Plus three amenities. Plus four housing. Boom. It's going to take until the uh, thing resets. Activate that, but boom. Okay, so our destroyer is now back up to speed. We go keep patrolling with him. How is our reactor age 23? Okay. Yeah, you know what? I'm actually kind of thinking maybe we take a break from the flood barrier there to recommission the nuclear reactor. We can also have this Apostle spread religion here. So we can now purchase a rock band and a naturalist if we so chose, which we don't. Yeah, let's recommission the nuclear reactor just for anti-spy stuff. Okay, we're going to keep this drone on station here on this little island. Just to keep an eye out for things. Wow, that thing has a great vision range. Zork says, after going hard with Civ 2, I haven't had the patience for more 4X. That's fair. Welcome, Hims MC. Glad you could join us. Hmm. 
Venture politics is unlocked. Over himself, over his own body and mind, the individual is sovereign. Okay, I mean, I'm pretty happy with digital democracy here. So, I think we're going to just chill where we're at. We don't need the plus power in production toward all city. Oh, production toward all city projects probably would have given us um, boost. But, you know, that's fine. That would help us with space stuff. Near future governance is one turn away, though. Globalization. Plus 5% science per city-state you're suzerain of? That is ludicrous. We are suzerain of a lot of places. Governor title and three envoys. Wow. All of these are wacky and wild, and we want them. Okay, so now that we've completed industrial zone logistics here, making us very, very ahead on the World's Fair. Um, maybe... Ooh, occult research. Now, we don't have any ley lines in the town. So that's probably a bad choice. So, instead... Let's look at let's look at the great people options. Great artists, great musicians, and great merchants are still available. Plus one level of diplomatic visibility with every civilization. That's intense. What is that a great merchant? Yeah, let's maybe do the shipping one to get more great. Oh, wait, wait, which one's great merchant points? Oh, that's not this one. Great admiral, plus six loyalty per term in the city. Great engineer. Grants 1,500% production towards space race construction. Yeah, maybe we go for the great engineer. Industrial zone logistics, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we just completed a spy. So we're going to have this spy um, transfer to... Talma 2, I think. In order to make sure nobody works on our reactor. Okay, I'm kind of thinking giant death robots looking pretty good. But industrial zone logistics will get us that great person we want. Maybe we want another builder here. I'm going to be honest, like, a bunch of, like, what we're working right now doesn't really have anything on it. Okay. Let's have this guy head over to the city-state of Candy. This guy's going to be on alert. Okay. So, if we look at our city here, we look at what tiles we can buy. Oh, wait. we Is that one farmable or workable? Okay, yeah, just go up there and build another wind farm. And let's do some religion spreading. Okay. Eight turns away from launch moon colony. So let's manage citizens here. Okay, we have a bunch of citizens working literally nothing. This is... Garbage. These people are working garbage. I'm going to have them purchase a builder. We're going to do a manual save. Spread religion. Extra. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
This might be a science victory. I was hoping for the diplomatic, but we might not get it realistically. Synthetic materials. There's no there's so much plastic in this culture that vinyl leopard skin is becoming as an endangered synthetic. To build geothermal plants, helicopters, and the biosphere wonder now. Must be adjacent to a river. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, so we could switch to near future governance if we wanted. Of uh synthetic technocracy. Oh no we can't. Yeah, okay. Could I pause the science projects for a bit? I mean, the thing is, I, I've never won on Emperor Victory or Emperor Difficulty before, so in some ways, I kind of just want to win it all. Game Club Central rating with a party of six. Welcome. We are currently playing Civilization Six as Coupe, the navigator, the leader of the Mayans. Okay, we're gonna build a flood barrier here because we've already got another place working on a spaceport thing. Okay, flood barrier, boom. Welcome, Royal. Hey, Royal Renegade, also raiding. Welcome, Ken Centric with the Royal Raiders. Appreciate y'all being here. Okay. So it looks like without the campus, I can't actually do that fancy ley line research thing that I wanted to do. That's really unfortunate. Okay. So what does that mean is open to me? I can build a giant death robot. Oh, it consumes three uranium per turn? I'm only actually generating three uranium per turn. So I probably don't want to build two of those. Oh, boy. Well, hmm, I don't know what to do at that point. We could do build nuclear device. Harbor shipping gives us a great admiral point. Bread and circuses gives us a... Gives us loyalty. Because hmm. the thing is, we're already building a giant death robot over here. How are we doing on Great Admirals? We could always get more Great Admiral points, because that'll also help us toward the World's Fair, which gets us a diplomatic victory point. Okay. Let's have this guy keep wandering around here, building more uh, of those. Okay, so first up, we want to become Suzerain of Taruga again. Just for kicks, really. To annoy Teddy Roosevelt. Okay, so we can't steal a tech boost, so let's go ahead and gather sources for right now, and then we'll figure out something else to do. We have a governor title, so we can promote somebody here. Um, plus 30% production increase to all space program projects in the city. Yeah, okay. Where is Pingala? Is he down? No. So right, right now, Pingala is here and they're doing industrial zone logistics do we have a spaceport here i need to move him somewhere with a spaceport really is what it comes down to and we're running out of housing over here really again what happened to that great person that i sent to solve that problem that's deeply disturbing what happened to the great person? Did they die? Or, oh no, they solved the, the housing problem over here. They didn't solve the housing problem over here. Okay. So we need to get to seasteads in the sciences, what is what it looks like. Okay. Let's get this apostle somewhere meaningful. Like over here. Actually, not there. Um, OK, 
Okay, let's get more builders out and about. Building wind farms. Let's have this guy stay on alert. Okay, let's have this builder building more wind farms. Because, yeah, if we look at what tiles we're working, we're working a lot of tiles that are not getting production benefits right now. No, I think I... No, it, it was that I used the great scientist on or the great engineer or whatever. I had a great somebody who gave me a housing boost, but I used them already. Right. I just was confused about which city I used them on. And at 10.45, it's a great time to remind folks that we are $20 even... No, wait. That's not right. We're $10 even away from the next face camera expansion. And tips are welcome via paypal.me slash joefills. How are we... Wait, that can't be right. Oh, I did the math wrong earlier. I said we were 6 away when we were 16 away. That's fine. Optimization imperative. We find everywhere men of mechanical genius, of great general acuteness, and discriminative understanding, who make no scruple in pronouncing the automaton a pure machine unconnected with human agency in its movements, and, consequently, beyond all comparison, the most astonishing of the inventions of mankind. Government unlocked. Okay, so that's going to give us more housing or more power in all cities. We don't need the power boost. Honestly, maybe we just stick with what we got here. Okay. Smart power doctrine will give us combat strength and friendly territory plus four diplomatic favor per turn. Ooh, I kind of want that one. Okay. Cult research, that won't get us the ley line boost we want is the problem. So we do... Yeah, harbor shipping or industrial zone logistics. Um, great engineer points. I mean, I think we want the Great Engineer point. We got enough faith to just buy the Great Engineer now. So let's do... Theater Square Festival, okay. So we can have them come down there. Okay, let's have him keep building wind farms. Okay, have him spread religion. Okay. Where is this spy? Okay. Um. I don't think we have any spies in Ruatoria, do we? No. We'll have them watch the spaceport. And in the meantime, we'll build an offshore wind farm here. We'll have this guy move here, and you know what? Build an offshore wind farm. Uh, over here in this city, we can easily justify purchasing a builder, and then probably having them, uh, I don't know, generate an offshore wind farm. So. Let's see. We completed the industrial zone logistics here. Problem is they have no ley lines for this. So encampment training gives you great general points and gold per turn. I mean, honestly, extra gold per turn isn't necessarily terrible. But we get gold per turn from great admiral points too. Okay. Uh, 
Our friendship with Wilhelmina has run its course. Friendship with Genghis Khan has run its course. Friendship with Ar uh, Arabi. Oh wow, all of our friendships have run their course. I guess because we set them all up at the same time. This guy really wants a like, joint war with Genghis Khan. And I don't... Like, you know, at all. Sorry. How does that affect our resources? If we go to city status, are they all happy? They're all ecstatic. Okay. Our oppression of smart, sorry, our expression of smart power doctrine will define humanity's future in the future era. The time will come and is inevitably coming when all institutions based on force will disappear through their uselessness, stupidity, and even inconvenience, becoming obvious to all. Plus four diplomatic favor per turn. Okay, yeah, so let's go get that plus four diplomatic favor per turn, because that's, that's going to be a big one. Great scientist points don't matter anymore, because great scientists are out of the game. So, yeah. Okay, we have this great engineer here who can give points to space race construction projects. And so we probably want to have him. Where are, wait, where are we on researching the next space race thing? actually like send people to Mars like, can we do that now no wait why not I thought nanotechnology had launched Mars colony as its thing oh we are doing that okay so we need to just send him to Ruratoria to go help out there okay Okay, builder. Okay, choose civic. Uh, let's see, globalization gives us a governor title. Space tourism. Tourism from other players is reduced by 20% versus your civilization. Cities with a spaceport gain plus three aluminum per turn. Yes, we want that one. Oh, one of our spies needs to escape, and they were killed. Uh, remind me to build more spies, because mine keep getting killed. Okay. We are about nine minutes from the end of the stream, so if anybody would like to tip and make sure that that gets in there. Quick reminder, tips are welcome via paypal.me slash joehills and YouTube super chat. Dang, we generated grievances by getting our spy caught. It would have been fine if the spy didn't get caught. Uh. Isn't Auckland technically our suzerain? And these guys are attacking it? Okay, well, we successfully stole smart materials and nuclear fusion. When we look up at night and view the stars, everything we see is shining because of distant nuclear fusion. Okay, advanced flight and nuclear fusion boosts. Fantastic. Okay, so a few things. This guy. If we say choose mission, is there more tech boost to steal? No. Siphon funds is a possibility, though. So we can do that and try and steal 276 gold. That doesn't really seem worth it. Okay. 
so if we look at the advanced technology tree, smart materials, launch expo oh, planet expedition. We're a little bit away from that, but we want to get there. So that's going to be at least 10 turns to get to the smart materials. We need to construct a new spy for sure. We need to... See, we can do Operation Ivy here to allow the creation of thermonuclear devices. Just as a treat. Um, flood Barrier would probably be smart here. But, while we're at it, now that we've constructed that, we can construct a library. And we construct an alchemical society. And we can construct a research lab. And... Yeah, I think that's pretty good. How are we on power here? Essex, I think I can get it. Those are more wind farms. Okay, this person needs to go to the spaceport. No, go to the spaceport. Okay, builder, you get out of the way. You go to the spaceport. On foot. Okay, grants 1,500 production towards space race project construction. Boom! Mars colony launched. The space race project which establishes a small human base on the surface of Mars. Marks the third step toward a science victory. An engineer watches a rocket thunder from the launch pad, carrying colonists to a new life. This is really happening, she says. We are going to Mars. So, that puts us... So we need to launch the exoplanet expedition to get to the next phase of that. But we're in good shape on the whole. So we're going to have our counter spy here protect the spaceport, I think. It's kind of far out there, but that's what we're worried about. Okay. Have a good night, 46 Bonnie. Okay. So of all the districts we could build here, uh, the industrial zone seems like a pretty obvious one. That I'll remove that solar farm. Uh, okay, well maybe we build it here. Five turns until complete. That's fine. We got ten turns or so until we can launch the exoplanet expedition. So we might as well upgrade everything in the meantime. Um... Maybe we can talk to this guy. Can we make a deal about, like, not attacking our suzerain? just kind of feel like attacking my suzerain feels like a, a, an attack on me. Or attacking my, my city-state that I control feels like an attack on me. Can we ask him to stop, please? If we levy their military, Mr. Hardluck, welcome. If we levy their military, is that going to let us fight them better or is that just going to give us different problems? I don't know. I just want to help them not lose the city state that's helping me. Like. They be defenseless as demonic void. Okay, yeah, so we don't want to do that. I mean, not that their crossbowmen are doing a great job either. Like.
would be better if you could donate you know it's like a civ five yeah that's the thing i'm trying to figure out is how do i how do i help them like can i garrison a unit in their capital here that help no doesn't seem to Is there a new kind of... Uh-oh. New barbarians moved in. Ginger Rogers said of advanced flight. Sure, jets are fast and economical, but oh my, what fun we've lost and what leisure we've sacrificed in the race for efficiency. And that lets us build an airport. Okay, wait. This is where the barbarians are? <sighs> Fine, let's just bribe them. Okay, we're going to choose production up here. We completed the Theater Square Festival. Recommission nuclear reactor. It's a little early for that. So uh, let's just do the industrial zone logistics. Okay, we're going to just have this guy go to sleep for right now. So if we do a WMD strike. On somebody who's attacking our guy. I'm guessing that's going to create like all sorts of problems that we don't want. That's probably too far. Make a ring of units around the city state. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Okay. Let this guy go to sleep until we get our next thing set up. Okay. Let's create some great works here. Ooh, that was a pretty great work. Okay. This guy wants to be friends. Sure. After shifted in envoys, you're no longer suzerain of Auckland. No! Auckland has been defeated. No! I don't like it. Does that give us causes belly? If they attack us to the state we're uh, suzerain of, can we recapture it? That was a pretty great work, but we got other problems. Okay, we completed the flood barrier here. Oh, good time to construct the alchemical society and the research lab, too. While we're at it. Ooh, or we could do the water park or an airport. Okay. I mean... Okay. Okay, so we got a trade route here we can set up uh, for additional food or productivity. But we're not, really not leaning on that too hard right now. Let's send this one over to Atari Paw. They clearly actually need it. No, but seriously, does this give us cause us belly? We just said ask for promise, promise not to spy on me. I don't want to do that. That makes me feel like I'm not doing it. Right. Okay. okay, we're gonna stay on alert here. I'm not happy about that though. Oh, so we could do a city state emergency here. Okay, let's let's add this proposal. I'm mad at him for for conquering Auckland, so we are going to go after him for that. Do do do. 
Yeah, we're going to save because that might have been a really stupid thing to do. Just be chill. The storm rage is on. Okay, so I would say invisibility would be sort of a fun power to have just to see what it was like to move through the world and not be looked at. Kevin Bacon. And Exodus Imperative. This, O oh Best Beloved, is another story of the high and far off times. Saves with a spaceport, gain plus three aluminum per turn, plus three power. Yeah, okay, we're doing that. Um, we're going to replace the... Oh, boy. Um, production towards spies, I guess, one. Okay. That extra aluminum is going to be huge later on. I didn't realize that the first time I went for a science victory. But okay. Plus two gold to plantations. Plus one size. Your spy units can choose any possible promotion. Your rock bands can choose any possible promotion. Okay. Well can't build a spy or a trader here industrial research toward a great person what does that look like Great engineer points seem to make a lot of sense to pursue, but in the short term, just getting more science quicker is going to be huge. Okay, so let's show production-based routes. Okay. Let's go ahead and head to Bogota, I guess. Say state of emergency. Okay. Ahime Angel says, I believe this has been the most challenging map for you so far, Joe. Uh, that's possible. I mean, we are playing on Emperor difficulty for the first time, so that's going to have an impact. Um, also, we're playing with a totally different type of map layout. Island plates. I thought that would benefit me, uh, playing as Coupe the Navigator and the Maori. Oh, jeez, look at all these. That's a whole navy and a military rolling back into Baranus. I think my uh, I'm glad my apostle was there to witness it. Okay, let's see the, what the World Congress says when they all get over there to talk about that Auckland capture cuz I'm really super disappointed about that Auckland capture. Getting voting. Okay, gain score. So, you gain diplomatic favor plus 1 gold for each of their envoys per turn. So, uh, 
All members will go to war with the target, but we keep peace with each other. I mean, maybe we try this and we just kind of see how it goes, right? I don't want to burn a bunch of stuff on this, but I think it's worth trying. Let's see what everybody else says. Failed. Sanguine Pack discovered. You've discovered a mysterious society called the Sanguine Pack. The man in the shadows beckons to you, offering to show you the wonders of the Sanguine Pack. Too late, he sees your knowing grid and recognizes you as a member of the Hermetic Order. In his folly, he had let slip the secret signs by which his group knows its members, and you can recognize them on sight. Okay, so we found the vampire people. Somehow. I don't really know. Um... So let's go ahead and recruit a great person. So our ley lines now are giving seven science, five culture, some faith, and a bunch of other stuff. Fire production. Okay, so choose production. That is the nice thing about the ley lines. Um, can't build the biosphere. That's really frustrating. You can build the research lab, the airport, and... I mean, honestly, how are we on money? Maybe we just buy the research lab to boost our science, because we really need science right now, and then we have them keep working on the airport. Okay. Okay, this guy can grant six loyalty per turn to the city. I mean, like, I think our cities are pretty good on loyalty per turn. Like, if I was going to reassign Victor somewhere, like, who's got the lowest loyalty? Qualia has 25. Okay, so let's let's go to this guy real quick. He's got one charge. If I send him over to Qualia... I just said, okay, go fix it. I mean, he would. Build a wind farm... I mean, our production here is still 52, which is pretty good, actually. It's just these flood barriers take a ton of uh, cost. But we got that global warming on its way in 10 turns. So we got to stay ahead of that. Get these seawalls built. This guy likes our standing army. You're welcome. Boost housing, we're at 13 out of 14 population right now. Yeah, some of our cities are... Yeah, Qualia is kind of at a, a stuck point. Before, uranium was near, merely a curiosity of scholars. Now our giant death robot wields it as a weapon for the first time in the world. All material things seem to have been composed of the hard and solid particles, variously associated with the first creation by the counsel of an intelligent agent. That lets us build the winst farm improvement, the modern armor, and the modern AT. Thanks, Isaac Newton. Um, the offshore wind farms normally would be later, but because of the... Um, what do you call it? Because of the shuffled sciences. Okay, let's have him go to our capital, actually. And... Why don't you protect the... No, we'll go that next turn. Giant death robot. Um, come keep an eye on things down here. Okay. Um, we don't have any ley lines there, so occult research isn't necessarily our best choice. Um, I mean, maybe we just keep doing the science boosts for right now. Uh, over here, we can do a power plant, which we don't want to do. We can do a wonder, but they're all locked. Campment training will get us gold and great general points. I mean, for this World's Fair, we need specifically... Any great people points per turn. So, 
Kind of might as well. Okay. And I think that's probably going to be about the last turn for us. Why don't we go ahead and check out what's going on in the rest of the Twitch reverse. Boom, 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 boom. Da 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 um, ba da 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 Two 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 T. Okay. Make sure that's muted. Yeah, go ahead and put in an embassy. Why not? Okay. Milky Snowman says, Giant Death Robots, finally a spy that won't get killed on escape. Hey, our mission, our listening post mission worked. So, I mean, that was good. We could have them siphon funds now. To get a whole 416 funds. Wow, after all that time. Wow, okay. Okay, let's do the listening post one, maybe. Okay. Hey, Wakaro, Karawira. Dun da da dun da da dun da 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 dun da da dun da 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 da. Can't build any more spies or settlers. Campus research grants. Industrial zone logistics. How's our nuclear reactor looking? Age 14. I mean, we kind of might as well just touch that up. Right now. Okay. One last turn. This guy wants a religious alliance. Are we the same religion? Are we the same religion? Honestly, let's just accept it to see what it is. I've never I don't even know what that is, a religious alliance. Uh-oh. Wait, what's happening? Uh-oh. Volcanic eruption. Busting up our farms. Just gives you additional faith on your trade routes. Ooh, good to know. Okay, guidance systems. Research complete. If you do not change direction, you may end up where you were heading. Okay, so we're going to have this guy counter spy and protect our science district here. We're going to go down here. Yeah, that completely wrecked that plantation. So we're going to purchase a builder to walk around and repair all that. Choose production. Um, how are we on housing? Uh, it's going to be a problem soon. So we can build an aerodrome as well if we want here. Might be nice to have. That'll give us some production boosts. Okay, this place is going to have problems because there's basically nothing we can do except build thermonuclear device. Yeah, why not? Operation Ivy completed. So in the atomic era, we have a normal age, but we are only three points away. From that, uh, Ruratoria, we completed the industrial zone itself. So now we can build a broadcast center or a workshop or a coal power plant or a factory. I mean, quite honestly, it's more interesting to build more districts and to just buy the other things. So we're going to go ahead and buy a workshop and we're going to buy a factory. I'm going to go ahead and buy a broadcast center. I'm going to go ahead and 
buy... Do we need a sewer? We don't need a sewer. Eh, so we're not going to build it. We're not going to buy a sewer. Next turn. Hopefully our seawalls can stay ahead of that. Seven turns. Oof. Plus six loyalty per turn per city. For the city. Awesome. Let's do that. If they can kill the giant death robot spies, we have bigger problems than losing a spy. That might be true. Major flood mitigated. Okay. So our uh, seawall there is working. Information warfare. It has been said aforetime that he who knows both sides has nothing to fear in a hundred fights. And I think we're good on the whole here. Hmm. Okay, protect the, the zone there. Let's choose a new civic. So we have globalization, which is kind of a dead end, but gives us an additional governor title. Plus 5% science for says your suzerain of. Oh, that's actually really good. Yeah, then we'll come back to this. Cultural hegemony and future civic. We're actually really close to the end of the civics. Wait. What's this? Oh, that's the Barbarian Spec Ops guy. Well, we bribed them earlier. Just fire over the fence. It's fine. Let's come repair this real quick, man. Choose production. Okay. Uh, let's do some industrial zone logistics here. You know, let's have our giant death robot go take down that sec uh, spec ops guy. Look, man, we'll talk to city states if we want. You can leave your friends behind. Let's consider making a landing at the Aerodrome in Kalia to be a rite of passage. The oldest ones remember when it was just a farm field and a couple of temporary hangars. Advanced power cells. Research completed. The incomplete becomes complete. The crooked becomes straight. The empty becomes full. The worn out becomes new. So we got an upgrade to our giant death robot. And CO2 units emissions are reduced by 50%. Thank you. Okay. Let's have this giant death robot maybe, uh, I don't know, get in some fights, just for kicks. That was nice. Oh, this guy's gonna hang out here. This guy's gonna repair the plantation. And go there. Okay. Campus research. We're gonna go ahead and uh, let's maybe do some more of that just for kicks. 
Babylonians killed my giant death robot. Now it's a dead giant robot. Oh no, I'm sorry, uh, animate barrel. That is indeed a sad, sad tale. Okay. We have recommissioned our nuclear reactor. Let's do some more campus research grants. And over here. Recommission nuclear reactor. Steam link uh, steam link is possible, but um, not super likely. We could buy a hangar. We could buy a neighborhood. You know, at this point, we could buy any of these districts that we wanted if we wanted them. Um, I mean, honestly, I think. We go ahead and we recommission the reactor. I mean, maybe we build the encampment first. What do we got over there? That's worthless. Entertainment complex also has to go there. But the water park can go on the ocean. Okay, we just finished the aerodrome. Oops. Do we have anybody working a worthless tile? Not really. What is this? This is the... Is it the research lab? What is this? The harbor. What was this one? Industrial zone. Now, if we said we wanted to specialize in certain things, I said I wanted to do science. It puts three people in the science building. Mm. Okay. Oh, the city will this buying the sewer will immediately solve that problem. And they have nothing to produce. So let's go ahead and produce the sewer here. Okay. Are these guys stupid enough to try and attack my giant death robot? That's nice. Save game, save game. Welcome, doggy. Glad you could join us. Wait, what is that? I'm still going to see right? Yeah. Smart materials. It ascends from the earth to the heaven. And it again descends to the earth and receives a force of things superior and inferior. Unlocks giant death robot reinforced armor plating, plus 10 combat strength when defending against our land and naval units. 
and launch exoplanet expedition. Boom. Okay, so we're gonna take this guy and we're gonna have him real quick, just as a treat, um, attack these infantry. Men. Okay, so this builder is now gonna come here and repair this farm. Okay, choose research. Drone air defense or giant death robot jumping. Honestly, in order to get the off-world mission, we clearly had to do a bunch of stuff here. So let's choose production. So in this city, we are probably not going to work on occult research because we don't have any ley lines. So we're going to go ahead and focus on campus research and grants to get a science boost. Over here, we do have a spaceport, so it would be a great time to launch an exoplanet expedition. Then we'll have this guy give us a production boost for that. Enjoy your exoplanet expedition, galaxy. Look at all the squids and crabs. All the crabs are super excited about the rocket. Those crabs are gigantic compared. Those are bigger than parking lots. Wow. The spaceship from the Maori glides from the Earth's gravity on its way to settle a distant world, crowded with people, supplies, and hope. Okay. So, if nobody else wins the game in 50 turns, we win the game. Because we got that exoplanet expedition going at one light year per turn. In terms of a culture victory, we're ahead on tourism. In terms of a domination victory, Genghis Khan is going to be able to take all of us. In terms of religion, Pedro II is doing pretty good. <laughs> but he hasn't gotten everybody. Um, so that's the thing. We could probably hold him off. Diplomacy, we are 17 out of 20 away from winning. Crabs the size of an octagon. Yeah, Naismith, we have caught up on tech. I have been very aggressively trying to catch up on tech. And successfully doing so, it seems. Okay. So, let's go ahead and do industrial zone. No, campus research grants. Uh, over here, in this town... You could build a spaceport, an aerodrome, an industrial zone. Let's see, what is here now? What, that would get this huge boost. This is currently a lumber mill. So yeah, maybe let's let's build an industrial zone on the lumber mill. And maybe let's also, just as a treat, buy another sewer and buy a Builder, and also buy anything else we need. Okay, because we got the flood walls done. Okay, so this is our spaceport city. So we're gonna need to start doing some spaceporty things. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and build a hangar, and hit next turn. Everybody's mad we're thinking about space when they're down here on the Earth. Well, they should be mad that they're down here on the Earth while I'm thinking about space. You dig? Globalization. One day there will be no borders, no boundaries, no flags, and no countries, and the only passport will be the heart. Okay, so we can get this plus five science to every city state you're suzerain of. Yeah, we want that one. Um, spies who steal a tech boost one is out. And the enemy spy level one we will keep. Confirm policies. Yeah, our policy agenda set. 
So let's just go ahead and, I don't know, attack this with our giant death robot. Bye! And we will go for cultural hegemony here. Okay, so... How much gold do we get from occult research? So let's just let's just try that because it seems to take a while, and we haven't done it. So we're getting nine thirty eight gold per turn now. So we're just gonna hit that and see what happens. Um. Arena double adjacencies from commercial districts harbors. Burr, 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 burr. I mean, let's just. I guess keep going with that, because why not? So, trading post created in Buenos Aires. Fire started over here, not my problem. Okay, so new trading route. I'm going to transfer that to Adatara Pa. Unit needs orders. This builder. Um, I want you to... Construct a ski resort, because why not, I guess. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You can do solar power? What does that get us? Plus one production, plus one gold. As far as I can tell, we're not even using all the solar power we have. And building the ski resort gets us... Something. Tourism. Okay. I think we're getting more gold. Okay. So we can build another ski resort over here. It'll give us another tourism boost. Okay, so if we want a productivity boost here. Plus two productivity, but we don't get any food. Plus one food, plus one productivity. If we wanted to just look by food... They're all plus one. Oh, boy. That's rough. Okay. This one at least gives us a science boost. And some faith in gold. Okay, in our capital here, we have completed basically everything we can possibly build. So... More campus research grants. And down here, recommission nuclear reactor. Yeah, we are getting close to that time. Uh, over here in Kalia. What are we building? It's campus research grants. I think maybe we transfer it to uh, Avatar Paw for right now. Send in. Oh, we get some envoys to send. Eight, in fact. Oh, I guess we got the Auckland ones back. I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, so let's get uh, some more science envoys. Babel learns that politics is also a battlefield as the Maori overturns their suzerain status in Geneva. Permanent coastal flooding. Oh, dang it, we were trying to stay ahead of that. Oops. Oh, does that tank still exist? That is actually kind of impressive. That's the first thing I haven't killed in one hit with that giant death robot. I mean, it is an armored box, so, I mean... Fluffy Doggy says, so much money. Oh, believe me, we're about to spend it. As soon as we get this district finished over here, we're about to spend that money. Mm 
<laughs> Cybernetics. If there's any work in the afterlife, you must do it. Behold me whenever you are called. Be watchful at any moment to work there. Plow my fields, carry water, and sand to the east and west. Behold me whenever you are called. Inscription on an Egyptian Ushabti. So our giant death robots now have enhanced mobility plus three movement. Can perform a jump action. Okay, so our listening post there was successful. I think we're going to have this builder go to sleep for a while because he's not really doing much. Okay, let's send this guy over here to get some food and science. And that seems nice, just as a treat. Okay, so right now we are... Okay, hopefully that speeds thing up, things up a little bit. I mean, we can siphon funds, but we're not going to level up anymore is the problem. We can foment unrest. I mean, the listing post thing just seems to be more advantageous. In case we need it for diplomatic reasons. Like, if I talk to this guy now, I can get an intelligence overview. Access level. Top secret. Hmm. I don't really know what to do anything about this. <laughs> Fewer alliance possibilities. Available alliances are... Ooh, wait, wait, wait. Research alliances? Cultural alliances? Oh, that's nice. Oh, I didn't know you could get a trade route alliance. Oh. Oh, I haven't used alliances at all yet, really. Just imagine being the guy in the tank thinking you're good, then you see a giant death robot toward, heading toward you. Exactly. Exactly. It's humbling. Okay. We're close to this great merchant here. 15 per turn, 12 per turn. We're going to catch him. Uh, plus one level of diplomatic visibility. Honestly, I have so much faith. I might as well just buy this great merchant. That gets this uh, city state quest. So let's use production. Uh, campus research grants. Go ahead and disperse this clan outpost. Interesting. Giant death robots don't get experience. You can only upgrade them through science. I did not know that. But now I do. And let's build a ski resort. Right here, yeah. Ski resort. La da 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 da. Ski resort. La da da ti. Sky, oh, you want all three of my coal? I'm good. You know, goodbye. Incense. I feel like I've got a little bit of that. So yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. We're, oh, now that we lost one of our suzerains that had coal, we're actually burning coal per turn. We need to figure out which ships are burning coal and convert them to burning oil. New barbarian outpost just popped up. Up there. That's kind of not my problem. Let's have this ranger come home so we can get him upgraded. 
Um, what's the name of the giant death robot? Dread Machine? No thanks. Infernal Beast, Armored Hulk, Terrible Cyclops, Hell Monstrosity, Diabolical Ogre, Cybernetic Machine, Death Behemoth, Hell Colossus, Bonmonal Behemoth, Infernal Beast, Land Titan. A lot of these are pretty straightforward. I like Mammoth Devastator because, like, I like to imagine that this thing went crazy and killed off all the woolly mammoths. I know you can name it something custom, but I'm not going to. Let's have it jump. Wow, that's a pretty good jump distance. Its travel distance is actually longer, though. That's shocking. That thing has a fantastic range. Okay. So, in terms of space projects right now, we don't have... Well, there's the Seastead improvement. Well, that'll be nice. Um, but You know what? I think we're actually at the point where we need to save the game and wrap up for the evening. I got kind of distracted there, but once we get the next science thing, we're going to be able to really go all in on winning this. And then I won't want to stop playing. So, yeah. We're going to go ahead and raid Sammy Higgins. So when you get over there, say howdy, y'all. Joe Hills raid here. And until next time, y'all, this is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. Keep adventuring. Do-do-do-do. Click raid now. Stop.